a short while ago, I was uh, proclaiming the accolades of a particular gas company, thinking they were the best opportunities for gas. I'd like to believe that because I like the company in general. The problem I found is that literally all the gas companies have a little bit of a lie going on, I feel, at the pump. Now, why do I literally say that? Because when you squeeze the trigger on a gasoline stand, on a pump, that is, and put it into your vehicle, the money starts to ticker away. But do you literally hear the gas flowing out of that pump? Sometimes it takes a few seconds or a minute before the gas literally sounds like it's flowing. Now, because the hoses are silver to protect us from the gasoline and the vapors and the oil and all the things that are apparently petroleum, and I don't know what literally makes up gas, but in truth, because of all of that, we cannot see the gas flowing through to our car. At the same time, when we go to the pump and we say, I only want this much amount, and then at towards the end of that purchase, the gas pump slows down to a trickle. Now, why does it slow down? Is that so that the gas pressure won't explode on us when we take it out of there? I don't really think so, because in the olden days, there was nothing like that. But I'm just literally curious. What is it that makes a gas no longer goldenrod? I have literally put things in my vehicle. I've filled up gas canisters that I used to carry as a spare in my car. And I literally have wondered, what color is gas supposed to be today? When I was a lawn mowing child back in my late teens and early 20s helping my dad with the household chores, I could see that gas was a color of a golden color. Today, I have literally poured gas into my tank and while it smells like gas, it looks blue or green. Has the color of gas changed literally, or are we getting sold a bill of goods at the pump? Are we being taken from monetarily by believing that we're getting three gallons, but it's really just gas bubbles, if you will, or a molecule of sorts that's making the gauge go up, but then after the heat and the humidity and all the things that make that sort of thing literally happen go down, we discover we have far less in our tank than not. Within the last week, I have literally put in $70 of gas in my tank. That should have lasted me at least a week long. It used to. But what I found is after putting in three gallons of tank, I only got one gallon worth of gas. I literally just had a half tank put into my car, but my gauge makes it look like I have no gas at all. Now, how do we make sure we're getting real gas at the pump? I'd really like to know, who are the evaluators of gas stations? Who is literally going in and checking to make sure we're getting real gas and not some formula substitute? Or, if we have had a change in the way that gas is constructed, literally the way that it's made, then are all the vehicles on the road adapted to that new gas quality? Because if the gas color has changed because of new technologies or new ways of refinement or literally the fact that gas is getting growing more and more sparse, then maybe we should make sure that the gas we're getting is 100% gas and not some funny mixture of a gas smell and more like water. Now, I don't know that gas and water mixes. That's not my point. My point is that literally, are you paying attention when you put that gas a lean pump in your car, or are you taking the entire experience for granted? What I have literally discovered across several states, from Indiana to Illinois to Kentucky to Ohio, is that there are people who run those gas pumps that we pay our cash to that literally might be not giving us our full gas so that they can take our cash that we pay at the pump. Think about this. You're a gas line stand baron. You've got all this cash flowing through your hands. Are you literally telling me that you're always providing every single person 100% gasoline in every single tank fill up? Or have gas companies started to produce a lesser quality gas that does not work practically in older vehicles, but no one's really telling us? So we're spending literally lots of money at the gas pump. I know in the last month and a half, I have lost almost $1,000 in gasoline purchases at the pump. That should not be the case. My tank should be getting me 400 miles at least to the gallon, assuming I'm not doing too much stop-dove traffic of the suburbs. 
And literally, when I'm in the countryside, my gas typically lasts a lot longer, provided that someone doesn't throw a kill switch on my car, killing my right to not only have gas in flowing through my engine, but literally destroying the electronic system. You see, that's something that we may not be aware of, that manufacturers are putting kill switches on our vehicles now. We need to know that, literally. We have the lawful right to know, because it is our property, that we are purchasing either outright or over the course of time. So let's get back to what the point of this audio cast series is about. Yes, I want to talk about faith, and I'm going to. I've produced now some work, some books, some things I'm going to be talking about very soon. I've been struggling to get there within my soul because I've got a lot of things going on legally that seem beyond my control, that every person involved in the process completely lied to me about what's going on. It has made my mom stress out far more than me, but openly I'm facing some rough waters ahead if I don't literally find the proper help from a real lawyer who will fight for my real rights. Now, I'm just telling you a little bit of my story, but I'm talking about our rights to have real gas at the gas stands. And I'm asking you to practically decide whether or not you're just filling the tank thinking you're automatically getting everything. I have literally pulled the gas nose out of the tank to watch the gas flow, to make sure I'm getting gas when the ticker tape is flowing in terms of my money out the wazoo. Now, do you do that? You have to be careful. You certainly don't want to do that in front of a child because we certainly have seen the stories in the news of some kid being allowed to help mom or dad put gas in the car and they just thought, I'll pull it out now. And they spilled gas all over themselves and burned their eyes and everything else. So literally, don't be foolish about it. You can pull it out just enough to watch it flow in without making a total mess. A little spill is not a big deal. But paying for something that is ticking away that's not actually flowing into your tank really requires a careful ear to listen because there's so much noise around you of the flowing traffic, of people at the stand, other stands nearby, people on their cell phones. And literally, you sort of wonder if a cell phone could ignite a gas situation. But you don't know. And that's something we need to practically think about. Now, today we're literally having an audio cast talking about your money at the gasoline stand. Are you getting real gas at the gasoline stand? Are you openly getting all the gas you're supposed to for the cash you might be giving to a clerk behind the counter who literally has all that cash at their, dis their fingertips? Yes, there are honest people in the world, but there are also dishonest people who know how to override all sorts of situations. And I've most definitely seen the gas game occur, where I've paid money for a gas tank and some other clown is sitting in the gas area next to me who's a friend of the person behind the counter. They literally do take our money in that way. They might be purchasing food with our money. They literally will say, hey, come in and get your cashier receipt. And that's sort of an indicator of a possible theft. You see, if they can have you on camera going in the store, it can literally look like you took money from them or you made some sort of purchase because not all cameras are going to be perfectly clear. Now, I'm not saying that's happening. I'm just saying it could possibly happen. And we have wonderful movies to sort of give us these ideas that we need to be more vigilant about what we're doing at all times. That when we get into autopilot mode, it's when we get taken advantage of. And literally, that's what we're talking about. Your rights to your automobile, which is your property or something you're paying for, to make sure that it is literally functioning correctly, not only with the gas that you put in it, but with the mechanics that help you to keep it well serviced. This has been Blake Ensign of Blaze Communications, LLC. I hope you're having a really productive and prosperous day.